Okay, we we'll join today for theorem 9.6 of the same chapter that we are doing, chapter 9, chapter circle, class 10 of MBAC, page 195. Here we do the converse of 9.5. If you remember, 9.5 was like this. If two circles are there, if one circle is there, inside one line segment is there, and on one side of the circle, if you make any two points and make the angles there, they will be always equal. Now, what we'll do is the opposite. Just I'll quickly recall 9.5, what, what, what it was. It was like this. It said that this and this two angles will be equal. Now, what we'll say is, if these two angles are equal, this is in the same segment. But way of telling is little different, so that is why it has to be carefully understood. Right? So, first of all, the theorem is like this. If a line segment joining two points subtend equal angles, first angles are assumed they are equal at, the, at two other points lying on the same side of the line, joining the line segment, the four points lie also. First, we do not talk about the circle, okay? Your thread is interested. And after that, we say that they all should be in the same circle. Let's, let's start how it is given. AB is a line segment. It subtends equal angles C and D. At C and D. Suppose it is like this. A and B. So it has C and it will have another point which is D somewhere here. It may not be that easy to draw this diagram. has to pass ultimately one circle later on so this is the one they are assuming in the given okay so this is the case and they are assuming ACB ACB is equal to ABB this is assumed and what you have to prove is that ABCD all come in a circle that is concentric ABCD are concentric points that means if I make a circle like this it should come in a circle Okay, so this is one way of making it proof. If it does not come, that means this D has can be only in one point where it is absolutely true. Okay, now uh, in the second case also, same way I'm, I'm making it here. Same way, somewhere there is the C I believe that these two angles are there are two, two simple cases. Now, to prove it, what we do, we start the construction. In the construction, what we do, draw a circle through the three non-collinear points A, C, D. From A and C and B, we try to join these three circles, these three points to make a circle. How to do this? The circle may not look very nice now. Because we have already made the points. Okay, this is the circle drawn. We do not care for the point D here. Similarly, here also. It is done. Now, construction is done. Draw a circle through three non collinear points A, C, B, which is possible. Okay, from three points, we are making the circle. Now, in the construction, we will write draw 
a circle through A, B and C. Non collinear, so it is drawn. Right? Now, in the proof, it is important what is given, very, very important. ACB and ADB we have chosen, they are equal. So, suppose the circle passes through D. Suppose, in case it is passing through D, what will happen? And then the result follows. If it is passing through the D, if it is passing through the D, that means we have finished. Okay? A, B, C, D are consecutive and it is done. But if it is not passing, what will happen? If it is not passing, what will happen? If circle passes through D, then the result follows. It is finished, discussion is finished, but but if it does not pass through D, then what can happen? If it is not passing, passing two things can happen. Either D is outside it, shooting outside, or it is inside it. Okay, that can happen. Then it will intersect AD at a point, say E. That means... This will go around like this and it will join somewhere here at some point. AD will have to be cutting somewhere in the circle E. Here, AD, I can extend this AD and it will cut suppose here at EH. Okay. If it does not pass through D, then AD will intersect the circle at E right E it is done now let us go on now step is join B E and B E dash. We are going to join a construction so dotted lines. We are joining these lines join B E B dash. Of course B E dash is also join extended line that no need to write. Now also, we know angles in same segment must be equal. This is 9.2, 9.5, okay? Same segment has to be equal. That means what? That means ACB must be equal to AEB. Then angle ACB must be equal to angle AEB. Then what will happen? If it is so, then we already know, but in our given, what is given? Angle ACB is to be is equal to angle ADB. How I know? This is a given. If it is so, then what this will follow same thing equal angle a e b is equal to angle a d b what is the meaning of this if this a d b and a e b are equal it is look at here there is a triangle suppose like this this small triangle e d b can you see this triangle in this triangle this is the exterior angle this is the inside angle. they cannot be equal Exterior angle is always more than any of the interior angle. You are also saying 
if I'm talking about this triangle and I say ADB is equal to AE dash B, then also it is not possible because this is exterior angle for this triangle. This is exterior angle for this triangle. They cannot be equal. Here angle AEB must be more than ADB from the diagram. But this we are getting equal. Here ADB must be equal to AE dash B. But we are getting ADB and AE dash B equal. So that means what? That means only one way is that B cannot exist outside or inside. B has to B on E, E dash. Okay, that is the meaning. That is how we prove it. So then, how we we'll write? Which is not possible. As exterior angle cannot be equal to. Opposite angles. Here A E B cannot be equal. Here A D B cannot be equal to this. That is the so it is only possible if E coincide with B. Hence, what we can see is A, B, C, and D are concentric. Not very easy, but when you repeatedly try to understand, looking at the diagram, you will understand how it is. Okay.